Hey everybody, I guess welcome back to my channel. I'm very, very sad. <laughs> no, stay strong, stay strong. <clears throat> so, as you may know from the title of this video, I cannot, nor will I ever, or ever, in my life, get a puppy or any kind of dog, or any kind of cute, fuzzy adorableness that I like. Cause guess what? Oh, <laughs> is anybody else in the entire world, except for me, allergic to dogs? No, I don't think so. Why am I allergic to dogs? Can't it be cats? Everybody's allergic to cats. Why does it have to be dogs? Okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. All right, so. There are many reasons as to why I cannot get a dog, other than the fact that I'm just allergic to them. Because on top of that, <laughs> not only do I get like a stuffy nose, runny nose, um, my eyes get red and itchy, and they feel like they're about to fall out of my head, and then also I break out into hives, which is not fun, because then my face gets really itchy, and then my throat is like slowly closing up, and I feel like I'm about to die. But that's great. Then on top of that, when we go to the pet stores, we usually try to find a hypoallergenic dog. Because, see, not all hope is lost. There are hypoallergenic dogs, right? But usually, there's always a problem. Always a problem. Usually, the dog um, is either too excited, too jumpy. I mean, it's a good thing for the dog to be excited, but then they keep on running around the pin and they won't let you hold you. They won't let you hold them. See, I can't even talk. That's how upset I am. Okay, all right, okay, deep breaths. It's okay, it's okay, I'm fine, all right? And also, usually we try to find a female dog because, you know, the, f the males one, the males ones are usually not that nice because they like to either bite you or run around too much. But hey, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. And then either that or they say that a dog is hypoallergenic, but it's really not and they bring it to me and my face breaks out. Either that or it is hypoallergenic and then when they lick me, my arm breaks out. I break out everywhere, okay? And then also, on top of that, yes, yes, there's more. Usually the dogs sometimes get attached to the person that held them before and so when they are in my hands and I'm like, oh you're so cute, oh yes you are, they start crying. Yes, and they're like, and I'm like, what do I do? So usually the dogs either don't like me or they make me break out in hives and start sneezing and all kinds of stuff, which is not fun. And yes, we don't have to just go to a store to get dogs. I mean, you can find them online or anything, right? Right? Okay, so we look for breeders, and um, we find the number to call them, right? Even though they're usually in a different state, which is fun. <laughs> we really want a dog, so we call the number anyway. And either it's leave a voice message at 7, 7, uh, they don't pick up. They never pick up. It's like they have an actual life other than to give people dogs. I mean, who does that, right? And then either that or they say that all their litters are gone. Who, who buys that many puppies? But still, you know what I'm trying to say here. And then also when we do find a breeder, they act kind of weird about the puppies. Like for example, we found a puppy breeder that's near us. They sell toy poodles. It's so cute. They're so cuddly and they look like little stuffed animals. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, deep breaths, deep breaths before I explode. All right, I'm not going to explode today. I've done that twice already. All right, okay. But, you know, we found the reader and she did answer and she is probably going to have more litters of the puppies, but she's very, very, I don't want to say specific about how the dogs are being treated, but there's no other way to put it. <laughs> so basically we contacted her and we were like, hey, can we get one of your adorable cute little puppies? And she's like, oh sure, who's it for? And um, of course my mom said that it's for me. Obviously super responsible, super awesome, acquiesce love. <laughs> yes, and she doesn't probably want to give any puppies to kids because maybe she's had a bad past with children having puppies, but sh let's just say she was not happy about the fact that 
my mom was gonna give the dog to me. So usually there's always something wrong with trying to get a dog. That's why I feel like I am never, ever, ever, ever in life, never times three, going to get a dog. But that's okay, cause life will go on, probably. So I am lifting up my spirits by trying to do other things around the house, and you shall come with me. Moving on from this devastating topic of which I cannot get a puppy, and the only thing that I have that is close enough to a puppy is this. I mean, this is good too, right? This is, this is good, right? This is, it's the same thing. I mean, you can feed it, you can play fetch with it. It's, it's, it's the same, all right? Yes, definitely. Anyway, like I said, moving on. <laughs> get the stick, get the stick. Arr, oh, give it back. <laughs> Give it back! Give it back! Cheese! Smell the stick, smell the stick. Fetch! See? He fetched. Bring it back, boy! Bring it back! Oh, come on. Really? Trick number three. Alright, okay, okay. See? See the toy? See the toy? Oh, come and get the toy! Come and get the toy! the same ha huh. totally realistic you know what you seem a little cold doesn't he seem cold let's put on let's put on his hat yes boom yup just like a normal puppy now he's really a pug p pug pig pug 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 p wish i had a real one let's do other things around the house I'm gonna show you guys the tree. Yes, I'm super excited about Christmas and we have already decorated the tree downstairs and we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works and all this stuff and let me stop telling you and let's just go do it. Come on. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> okay guys, so we just pulled up to Bath and Body Works and after almost getting hit twice because people don't know how to drive apparently we're gonna go inside and get some candles for some really good deals hopefully we don't run into a lady that's like snatching up all the candles and then looking at you in the face and running off with them but you know let's go inside and see yay okay so we're in the line and we're waiting and um unfortunately two people got in front of us so now we're the fourth people in line but that's okay um, we're about to go inside and we're about to grab some candles, hopefully, because it's pretty cold outside. And I hope that these people go inside soon. Uh, oh, we moved up. Yes. We're so close. I can smell it. Literally, because it's Bath and Body Works. to wash my hands and usually I like to mix up all the soaps but make sure you do soaps that smell good together because if you mix the wrong ones together they smell gross. Uh, my hands are slippery and I don't like touching the tops. I mix one that's winter, I don't know what the scent of winter is, and two other ones. Simon, dance, yeah, yeah, you got to do it, yeah. Put your feet to the side, oh, on the side. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Then go into double drink and dip the sidewalk dance. Right. Drop the mic. The most beautiful place on earth. Classic. 
Jefferson and Dodge. Oh. I actually really like to get canvases from the craft section. And then my mom stopped getting them for me because she said that there was no point to them. Which I find a lot of point to them, but you know, that's okay. But she's the one buying it, so therefore I give up. We have had successfully purchased some items from the Dollar Tree. Tree of Dollars. Yes. Yes. Now we are on to Wally Marte. <laughs> I call it Wally Mart. It's kind of weird. <laughs> get this we are about approximately 37 feet away from my most favoritist yes favoritist is a word place in walmart the toy aisle i love all the dolls and everything there that is pink because usually all the pink stuff is very appealing i mean look at this look at this let's go okay okay all right do that Hello Barbie, how are you today? A bunch of Barbie stuff. Ooh, a music room. That's so cool. Mulan. I love the Barbie fashion the sense or something. That's me. Yup. Series three. So everybody that is in series three. My mama. So Dubas, roller chick, class press, and chillax. And there's this big old jewelry making kit that is super cool. Of course, yes. Need this in my life. Look at her hair. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder how they got her bangs to be like that though. We're on the hunt for a very, very specific item that we cannot find anywhere. It's a two-in-one foot warmer and massager that was on sale. Well, actually, you know what? Let's have faith. It is on sale. It is still here somewhere. It's on sale for $10, and it was an expensive price before, so we're trying to find it. We can't see it anywhere. <laughs> we're on the hunt. <laughs> Let's keep looking. So we just got home from Walmart, and I'm about to eat because I am so hungry, I'm about to throw up. Does anybody else feel like that when they get really hungry? I, it's like, there's, I'm about to throw up, but there's nothing in my stomach to throw up. Anyway, okay, moving on from the subject of throw up. We made a beauteous pizza that is very nice, but unfortunately my mom put on the wrong time, so it's kind of a little crispy, crunchy, peanut buttery. What? It's food. It's... Uh, a little overcooked food, but that's okay. While the oven is still hot and delicious, I'm <laughs> that sounds gross. I'm gonna put in some delicious, what are these called? Pecan Turtle Delight cookies. They are so good. Oh my gosh, okay. These cookies are probably the best cookies that are on earth. It has caramel inside and then pecans on top, along with chocolate chips. It's like the deluxe chocolate chip cookie the best my mother so kindly kindly that's a word it already greased the pan with butter so now all i have to do is just take out four cookies and put them on the pan <laughs> hey guys hello down there uh how about this i'll do this <laughs> okay so i'm about to put my cookies on the pan oh pee can down where to go found it that's not going to go back on the cookie anyway so I'm gonna put down four cookies. If I can break them evenly, cause I can never, they have lines on here, but I always break it unevenly. Why, see, see, look at that. Why, why is that there? Come on, Kylie. Okay, good thing I'm making four, cause they'll just be four uneven cookies. Let's see here. Okay. Two, three, 
oh, I broke that one in half. Why? It shouldn't be this hard to break dough. Come on. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna break off other pieces. There we go. It's the most unevenly even cookie that I've ever seen, but that's okay. Anyway, so now I'm about to put them in the oven and hopefully not overcook them this time. <laughs> hey, it's food. <laughs> yes, it's still food. Okay. Make sure, safety first, I'm going to put on my oven mitts. I'm scared of the oven because it's so hot and I can feel the heat burning off my eyelashes. What the? <laughs> I have to read the temperature first. Okay. Preheat oven to 350. Bake for 13 to 14 minutes until golden or brown. Oh, wait. Until golden brown. Is that even a color? Okay. Let's see here. 350. Is, does that mean that it's hot? I don't, I don't understand the oven. That's okay. Hopefully I can eat my um, overcooked pizza now. Hopefully it's cooled off. Because I'm so hungry I'm about to throw up. Are you just going to time it in your head? Or... <laughs> it didn't beep yet. That means that it's not, <laughs> it's not done. Going down to that heat. My cookies are probably going to uncook evenly. Cook unevenly. Wow, I don't know what just came out of my mouth, but that's okay. Now I can eat delicious pizza that is slightly overcooked. Okay, after I'm done eating, I'm going to show you guys all the presents underneath the tree. I'm going to tell you exactly how excited I am for Christmas, which I don't even think can be explained in words because I'm too excited. But for now, I need to eat. Also, it's hot. By the way, do you guys want to see the Christmas tree? No? Oh, well, you're going to see it anyway. All right? Okay. Okay. We already kind of started putting presents underneath because, I mean, it was going to wait until actual Christmas Day to put them out, right? Right? Okay. These normal, I don't want to say cardboard-looking ones, but you know what I'm trying to say. The brownish ones were wrapped by my mother, and, of course, the better awesomely wrapped ones with the plaid is that what this is called wrapped ones <laughs> they were done by me which by the way look way better comment down below and tell me whose looks better mine or hers mine or hers mine look better anyway i'm so excited and also some things are not wrapped because i've seen them bought for me but I'm going to do a what I got for Christmas video, so I can't go into details. I already showed you too much. And there's one big thing. Oh, the tree is so pretty. Okay, anyway. There's one big thing that I got that I'm about to give you a sneak peek of. You cannot tell anybody else except for your friends and you invite them over to my channel. Because then that's always great. But hey, I mean, support, all right? Anyway, enough with the jibber jabber. Are you guys ready? Look over here, all right? I'm going to take this. Okay. Ready? Can you see it? Can you see it? There's that, okay? If you can tell just by that sneak peek what it is, I'm gonna show you guys an unboxing on my channel, all right? So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna get my cookies together and I'm going to watch the new Mulan movie. So excited to watch the new Mulan movie because it just came out on Disney Plus and Disney Plus, by the way, is already great. But then on top of that, they came out with Mulan, Mulan, the one that ha you have to have to have been paying for to get for a while now. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. But you know what I'm trying to say. The one that you have to have been paying for. I don't know. You know, I just give up. You had to pay for it before if you wanted to watch it. Got it? Okay. That's a better way to say it. And um, now it's free, and you can watch it without paying $29.99. <coughs> Ouch, that's expensive. And I'm so excited because I've seen the commercials on it, and it looks really good. You guys comment down below and tell me if it's good because I haven't seen it yet, and I'm about to with my cookies. 
Ooh. I'm gonna get my blankets together and all that jazz and I'm gonna be real cozy. And you know what? You need to do the same and instead of watching Mulan, go and watch some more of my videos. <laughs> and invite your friends while you're at it, am I right? Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your friends. And by the way, I think that you guys forgot that if you guys, <laughs> it's terrible, let me stop. If you guys can get me to 10,000, 10,000, that's a lot. But I mean, hey, we're already three-fourths of the way there. Actually, that's an incorrect mathematical statement because... Six out of ten is not three-fourths, but you know what I'm trying to say. I, I went all math on you guys. Let me stop. Anyway, but I'm at 6,400-something subscribers, and if you guys can get me to 10,000, I'm going to eat. <sighs> okay. Bugs. See, I've been working on it. Now I can say it without, without stuttering so much. See? I'm going to eat bugs for you guys. Um starting to regret that but if you guys can get me to 10,000 subscribers then I will do it because that's how much I love you guys all right like I said before make sure to like and subscribe hit that notification bell share this video with your friends now see you guys later bye